Another item we want to take a brief look at is the creation of forms. Again, if I click on the Create tab, I can highlight a table, let's say employees, and I can create a form. And you know, whereas the tables may be the back end, the form is sort of the front end of access. And this just gives me an interface. So if I go to View here, um, go to Form View, it's kind of a nice, convenient way to access the database. And if I hide the bar up here, you'll be able to see everything. But notice I can like go through my records here, all right? And it presents it in sort of nice, you know, a nice perspective there, and a nice view. And I can even create a new record if I wanted to, just by clicking here. And bring that back down, and bring that back down. No, I won't save any changes. And if I were to create a form in design view, then I could make one from scratch. Or use an, I could use the form wizard here, and then I could take it into design view. If I wanted to get more specific, you know, there, there's a lot we could do as far as setting form properties and values and calculations and fonts and all kinds of things and graphics. You could really spend a lot of time just on form design. And maybe at a later time, when we get more time, we will do that. But for now, we just don't have time for that. In addition to creating a simple form with the wizard, you can create a subform. So I'm going to build one on the employees table here. I'm going to go to create, and um, I'm going to go ahead and create a form here with the form wizard. And now I want to add a subform. So to do that, I want to pull it into design view. I'm going to go down here and remove the footer a little bit. And when I go to my tools palette or the controls palette over here, and let's find the subform and sub report icon there. Click on it. I'm just going to put it on the form somewhere, just kind of drag it and drop it a little bit out where it is. All right, and then notice my options. I can make or use existing tables and queries. And I'm going to use existing. I'm going to go here and I want to pull down, let's do payroll type. All right, I'm going to add all the fields from payroll type. And I don't really need to play, but I'll, just to show you, I'll leave it in there. Go with the defaults, click finished. And now I'm going to bring it back into form view so you can see the behavior. So here's the original form, right? Down here, here's the subform. Oops, and we're chopped that off a little bit there. Let me, let's go back into design view and go down here and stretch that out a little bit and go back to form view. There we go. Now you can see it. All right, so here's 001. You know, I'm not salaried, I'm hourly. There's my pay. Now watch what happens. It maintains the relationship. When I go to the next record, 002 Wiley Coyote, well, he's not hourly, he's salaried. I go to the next employee, 003 Roadrunner, same thing, salary, not hourly. But as I advance, the subform will maintain its relationship with the form and advance. So if I go here, there's Carlos Rodriguez, 005, and hourly pay 49.40. So you get the idea of the relationship between multiple record sets um, you know, on the forum. It's able to combine the information from more than one table or query um, in, the, you know, in the front end or the, you know, where the user interfaces with the data.